Hi everyone, I hope you all doing great and I welcome you all back to my channel with a fresh new video. The topic that I'm covering today is social value investing. Now you all know what investing means. Uh, social investing is also commonly heard which means investing in a manner which brings social change as well as return to investor. Social value investing is a relatively new term which we are going to cover today. So I will start with a problem statement. Now let's say we all complain about how poor our country is or how bad infrastructure is. Now what is the solution? Let's say in case if I want to contribute something to the society or something to bring change in the society, what are my options? Now what is the solution? The solution is what if we have a platform where every individual with a common goal to bring some social change can come to the platform and put money for this social purpose. Having said that, I want you to take a look at this PDF file and uh, the problem that we discuss, I think the solution is right on this PDF. So Nirmala Sitharaman, who is our finance minister in a union budget speech for 2019-2020 on 5th July 2019 proposed setting up a social stock exchange. Now how this social stock exchange can solve the problem that we discussed. So there were no formal mechanism for social enterprises and voluntary organization working for the realization of social welfare objective to raise funds capital, specifically in developing countries like India, South Africa, etc. So there's a threat of capital fund for social welfare activities. Social welfare cannot be viewed as responsibility of government alone. Instead, must be viewed as a joint responsibility of government for profit and not for profit enterprises and every individual of the country like us. Now talking about the market size, based on our research, there are 3.4 million NPOs operating in India. Even if 1% of the NPO population is assumed to be actively pushing social objective, the number is about 34,000 NPOs. And assuming 10% of the active NPOs register on SSE, 3,400 approximately, and plan to raise fund, a very conservative market opportunity for SEC could be assumed to be 3,400 crores rupees. So looks like an attractive market. Now we know what social value investing is. I want to bring to your attention a company that is a market leader in social value investing and has a very interesting story about its establishment. So the company that I'm talking about is known as Equip Social Impact Technologies Limited. To build interest, this is the chart uh, that is in front of me after getting relisted. Now there is a, again, there's a story behind its delisting and relisting. But what you see on the screen is that the price got relisted at 1.4 rupees and went to 181.15 rupees. So made a high of 181.15. And then uh, took, took a lower circuit and now the share is trading around 53.55 as of today. Okay, let's talk about the delisting and relisting of Equip shares. So the company has a very interesting story. The company was earlier known as Proceed India, which was an agri business. And because Proceed India filed for bankruptcy, uh, promoters of Equip uh, comes into the picture and bought the company. Based on petition filed by operational creditor to NCLT, it, it had initiated CIRP process on 10th of July 2019. On 15th October 2019, resolution professional was appointed and the power of board of the director was suspended and same was vested and exercised to resolution professional. On the timeline, on 2nd of Feb 2021, promoter share was reduced to zero. This is pertaining to the Proceed India and retail share was reduced by 95%. For every 20 share of Proceed India, a new share with a face value of 1 was allotted. Now let's talk about uh, from 31st March 2021 to present. This is when the promoters of Equio came into the picture. Old board of director and management were removed from the company. Preferential share were offered to new promoter for 10 crore with a face value of 1. Subsequently, Equest Capital, uh, Srija Hotel and, Viv and Vivek Rata Konda become the new promoter with a combined equity of 97 in the company. These are the new promoter of Equio. The new management and board director on boarded with proven track record from diversified field. In reply to exchange was informed that the new management took following decision, changed the nature of business to IT and information technology services. 
so this is how the equip social impact technologies came into the picture and become a public company through this route now this is the shareholding pattern and what we discussed in the previous slide is what you can see over here so in march 2021 the proceeds promoter share was reduced to zero and public 100 and when uh, equip management came into the picture 97 was allocated allocated to promoters and 3% to public now uh, because of this 3% the share price that you see over here is basically nothing but a result of thinly traded shares where because only 3% uh, was in a form of floating market cap that is why it was very easy to uh, move these shares in either direction so speaking of thinly traded volume and price fluctuation of equip shares let's deep dive into some statistics uh, so if you look over here we have the price and volume data the highest intraday volume is around 5 lakh 47000 the lowest intraday volume is 12 average volume is 21700 and total volume is 76 lakh 85000 if you look over the prices the highest closing price is 172.55 the lowest closing price is 1.45 rupees and the average closing price is 61.47 now if i consider the average volume and average price so let's do some calculation and see what is the total value uh, so the average volume is 21709 multiply by the average closing price is 61.47 and this comes to around uh, 13 lakh 13 lakh rupees so meaning to say that uh, if you have uh, 13 uh, lakh rupees you can uh, play around with this stock and that is what happened because of uh, shares being thinly traded the retail investors had this opportunity to move this stock it can be noticed that the share traded with very low volume out of 345 trading sessions till 6 january 2023 shares traded with less than 15000 volume so this average volume that we saw it's little skewed on the higher side because uh, like we discussed out of 345 trading sessions less than 15000 volume was traded in 245 days and the major volume was observed only on less than 18 days 18 trading sessions so this even this average is skewed like i said and uh, similar thing observed with price to achieving a higher level of 91 so although uh, this is what i have observed in other thinly traded stock as well it is easy to take the price higher but it is difficult to hold on on those levels so I think that is why you uh, you could see a lot of fluctuation in the share prices of EQ and uh, this share fluctuation relisting and then prices going up a lot of fluctuation in prices reminds me of other NCLT stocks. So I have a few examples like similar price rallies and decline were observed in other NCLT stocks like Ruchi Soya, Gopala Polyblast, Alok Industry etc. So there are few famous names uh, there are a lot more examples that we can discuss about but uh, among them i think root soya is is a stock that everyone has heard of so ruchi soya was when acquired by patanjali in 2019 uh, the equity was reduced uh, at a ratio of 100 is to 1 which means that uh, for every 100 shares of earlier ruchi soya shareholder they got one new shares and uh, post uh, reduction it was relisted at 18 which rallied more than 1500 rupees and currently trading at around uh, 1170 i think similar pattern we could see for equip share as well where the equity was reduced got relisted at a price of uh, around 1.6 uh, made a high of around 170 180 and then uh, currently trading at around uh, 50 60 so this is a quick overview of uh, equip company and now let's uh, conclude the topic yeah, i just wanted to highlight why we are discussing social value investing and this company in particular so social value investing as we discussed has a huge market opportunity and also gives a platform to individuals like us to invest for social cause and i'm covering this company because this company is one of its kind that is investing in products or platform that help social value investing by bringing advanced tools and processes. 
so this brings us to the end of the topic and uh, i hope you had learned something new on social value investing and uh, the company we could see a lot happening to the company and i'll keep you posted in case if i uh, get any additional updates so thank you so much for watching this and have a nice week